So let us see some simple tricks to keep the spine healthy and the posture good. So first, we will look into few simple stretches to keep our thoracic spine. You know, we tend to move the neck, the waist, but this portion in the middle, it stays ignored and that's where we get the hunch. So we learn a simple sequence, all of which can be done sitting on a chair. All you need is a chair or a wall. So first one, we take our hand up so that the elbows are in line with the shoulders, the arm is parallel to the ground, the palm facing downwards. Very simple. What we'll do is, as we take the arm forward, we'll tilt the head to the opposite side. Taking the arm backwards, the elbow backwards, we'll tilt the head to the same side, bringing the ear to the shoulder. Again, opposite side, arm goes in the front, same side, elbow goes back forward and backwards, forwards and backwards and coming to the other side, other hand up, as the palm goes forwards, head tilts to the opposite side, as the elbow comes backwards, the head tilts to the same side. A lot of us complain of pain in between the shoulder blades, this little stretch can help us with that. If we wake up with a stiff neck, this little stretch can help with that. Sometimes simple things are really, really powerful. So we can do this eight to 10 times with each arm. Adding to the sequence again, what we'll do is, we will interlock the fingers and put it behind our heads. Doesn't matter at which level, just put it behind the heads. Now what we'll do is, we will bend one arm so that the elbow points forwards and straighten the other one like I really want to take my elbow backwards. Again, one, the other hand, it comes forwards. The first hand goes back. Stretch as much as you can. Again, great for upper spine and also the shoulders. It keeps the shoulders really, really stable and healthy. Once again, getting the first hand forward, other hand backwards. Basically, one hand, the elbow is pointing forwards. Other hand, I'm taking the elbow as much behind as is possible for me. And one last time, the first hand goes back, the other hand comes forward. Great for the trapezius, neck, shoulders, all of that. Again, we can do eight to 10 repetitions with each hand three to four times a day. You know, if we inculcate these in our daily activities while waiting for an upload, while cooking something, it's just too good. Next, in the same sequences, we will take our fingers and put on our shoulders on both sides. You know, if we put our hand here, there is a pulpy area, a little sore area for all of us here. So putting the palms, a little two, three fingers here, and while the fingers are there, we are not pressing them really hard. We are just gently touching them. Like how uh, you would touch a tofu or a paneer and check how it is, that much pressure. Just putting the hands, the fingers on this little sore spot here. And again, nodding the head from one side to the other. This will increase our breathing capacity, our posture, and also keep the strength in the upper spine really, really good. Again, eight to 10 times is more than enough. Very good. And last, not the least, for the hunchback and opening the shoulders, we can do something called the YLTW sequence. So very simple, taking the arms up so that we are forming a Y with the body. And as we breathe in, we can take our arms back as much as possible from the elbows. It's good to do it in front of the mirror, so you know that there is symmetry in both the arms. Back, back, back. And we can relax. Hold for four to five breaths and you can release. Then come to L. 
one side L, other side is a mirror image of the L. Make sure you don't take the elbows down and it's a straight L. Same thing, taking the palms, elbows, everything behind. Squeezing the muscles inside of our shoulder blades. Taking them back. Taking five to six breaths in the posture. Little pain is good. And we can relax. You can pump the shoulders if you feel like. Then come to a T. So I'm forming a T with my body. Taking both the arms behind. Palms go back, 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 back. Be in the posture for four to five breaths. If the head is coming forward, take it back again. And we can relax. Last and the easiest to fall in the sequence is W. So I make a W again with my arms and my body. Take both the arms behind. This is the easiest and the most relaxing of the lot. Four to five breaths in the posture. And we can relax. So because we have squeezed all these muscles, we can hug ourselves and just stretch those muscles behind nicely. And just add one little more thing to open the thoracic spine. So either we can just turn on our chair to the side or if you have a chair with armrest, just bend over to one side. So what we'll do is, we will take both the arms like this. My backrest of the chair is my guide for my support. So I'll just take both my arms in the front like my hands are in a namaste. And then I'll do something called opening and closing the book. So like this is a book, I open the book and I close the book. Again, so if my hand is coming forward, keep your chair as a reference so you don't bring the first arm forward. So my palm is in the front. I keep my hand towards the backrest of the chair fixed. Open the book, close the book. Open the book, close the book. Open the book and close the book. In this, one more thing we add, which is wiping the wall. <laughs> So this time with the hand towards the backrest of the chair, if there is a wall here, you can do it next to a wall also. But if you don't have a wall, you can think of an imaginary wall and I'll just sweep the wall and come back. Sweep the wall and come back. Doing it on the opposite side as well to complete the sequence and open the book close the book, open the book, close the book. If you can't reach full range here, do as much as you can, but do not bring the other hand forward. So opening the book and closing the book, one last time, opening the book and closing the book. And then with the other hand, we'll sweep the wall, do our windmills, It really moves the whole of the upper and thoracic spine. Really good. It is said that the spine is the tree of life. If we can keep the spine healthy, the health of the whole body can be ensured and be kept buzzing and scintillating. So get a good tree of life, have a healthy spine, a good posture and good health. <laughs>